So let's talk about distribution strategy. You might have a distribution strategy for taking money out of various asset classes out of your investment portfolio that we talk about. But how about the types of accounts? And the two phases in life. Number one, you work for money. And then hopefully if you've done it right, money works for you later on. Now you might have non-qualified accounts. There are things called qualified accounts, Roth accounts. And let's take a look at each one of those. Non-qualified accounts, typically it's going to be after-tax money. And what happens is on these accounts, you'll have some gains on the account, hopefully. And it'll be from interest, short-term capital gains, long-term capital gains. Now, the taxation of these things may vary based on the type of account. You have dividends, and some of these things may be tax-deferred. Then you have traditional qualified accounts, like your 401 K's, IRAs, where you put money in pre-tax, it grows without taxation, and then at the end, when you pull the money back out, you have taxation, it might affect your Social Security taxation, or maybe Medicare premiums and things like that. You have taxable withdrawals. Now you have Roth accounts, and that's where you have after-tax money that goes in. It grows without tax, and then you have a tax-free distribution on the back end. Now, what might be the strategy that you'll use? Well, traditionally, you might spin down non-qualified accounts. IRAs might be next, and then Roths dead last because they're the most tax efficient. Now we have software programs to help us through these decisions. You might have a person with a bunch of cash, let's say. And they take this cash and they live off of it to put off Social Security. And because they're in a really low tax bracket, now they can take their regular traditional IRAs and qualified plans, and they can pull that money out and convert it to Roth IRAs, which later on reduces your required minimum distributions and you end up with more money in Roth IRAs which are a better asset to actually inherit on the back end. So taking a real close look at software and how it gives you ideas on how to take money out can increase tax efficiency, portfolio longevity, and help with your legacy goals as well. It pays to plan.